My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve, okay? It has nothing to do with color Mr. of your Speaker. skin, your, any of that stuff. What we, want to, what we want to preserve and maintain is the fact that our military does not become a social experiment. We want the best of the best. We want to have standards that guide who, who's in what unit, what they do. And I'm going to tell you guys right, right now, the Russians, the Chinese, the Iranians, the North Koreans, they are not, they are not doing this because they want the strongest military possible. Gentlemen, I hope my colleagues on the other side can understand what we're doing. Thank you so much. Mr. Spen. It's going to be recognized to have the words colored people. For what purposes generally seek recognition? I'd like to be recognized to have the words colored people stricken uh, from the record. I find it offensive and very inappropriate. Is the gentlelady asking for unanimous consent to take down the words? I am asking for unanimous consent to take down the words of referring to me or any of my colleagues as colored people. For what purposes, the gentleman from Arizona? Can I amend my comments to people of color? The gentleman wishes to amend his comments. Is the gentleman asking his consent? Mr. Speaker, to have the word stricken. I didn't ask for an amendment. Is there unanimous consent to have the, have the word stricken? Yes. Without objection, so ordered. Without objection, so ordered. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you stay, comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah, but Republican Eli Crane, and he's a Republican from Arizona, he just leisurely let the word colored people come out of his mouth. <laughs> and what's even more funny about this is when you look on TikTok and you look at the comment section, I think that's a bit more offensive to me than anything because they're saying unbelievable who are these people whom are becoming elected into office what the h is going on in our government what what oh my god what jesus unbelievable so effing unbelievable <laughs> somebody said these comments are telling <laughs> and it's true because why are we trying to sit here and act like we don't know that they do this and say this in their home they say the n-word hard er with a a when they're listening to rap music he frequently calls black people colored people when he's talking to his friends and colleagues that rolled off the tongue way too easy that's how he refers to us that's how a lot of them refer to us I didn't say all, so erase the comment. I said a lot, majority, 99%. But yeah, they, <laughs> they refer to us by a lot of different names. This is how they actually feel. They will smile in your face. They will have conversations with you and act like they're the nicest person and they have no issue with you. And then, they, you know, we live rent free in their head. So they'll go talking about you behind your back. I've caught too many co-workers. I've caught people doing it. This is not a surprise. It's not shock. And... I mean, they wanted it struck in from the record. I would have left it because that's what he said. That's how he feels. That's what he thinks. This is what's in politics. Uh, racism. You can, this is a, a clear display of bigotry right here. Like he, he's an elected official saying this. But then when they say, oh no, we're progressive. It's progressive. We don't feel that way. It's right there. He said it loud and proud. I don't think he meant it to slip out, but because he says it so much, you know, when you say certain words, it'll just come out automatically. And that's what happened. <laughs> it just, it came out. And basically what they're trying to do is they are rolling back the EEOC equal opportunity protections for people and they want to discriminate. Um, do I think that they will be able to make a full turn by discriminating like they used to in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. I don't think they have the numbers. Um, I think 
a lot of this is being pushed because they have realized their numbers have dwindled way more than they projected. So now they're trying to go full speed ahead. But I don't think that they have enough power or enough numbers. And it's not like it was then. Uh, like I said, you know, 80% of colorless people, that's 20 shy, 20% 20 shy of 100% believe that we shouldn't get reparations and it's the opposite for black people <laughs> you know we to the tune of almost 80 percent believe you know with the exceptions of the rock rocket raccoons believe that we should get reparations it's it's been overdue and, and don't worry about it it's going to like i said I, and i used to say it a lot they can continue to do this this is just going to make it worse for them um they can do it the easy way or the hard way it, that's the only choices that they have and they seem to be going down the road of the hard way, which is a road that I believe over the years I'm going to enjoy as the sun continues to burn. Anyway, I'm not even going to go there. They are making things worse. Like, you know, when you just won't go ahead and accept something or do something or get something done, you keep procrastinating, you keep kicking the can down the road, you keep putting it off, you keep turning your back to it. It's just going to be worse for you. <laughs> in the end so yeah i'm not surprised by what he said um a lot of people call us colored call us the n-word R E R A. they they do a lot so it's not shocking and and yeah that's offensive wow i can't believe i saw this and if i hear somebody say in 2023 again i said really why does the year matter these people are the same. 2023, they're going to be the same. 2025, um, 2035, they're going to be the same as the people from 1835, 1919. God, they've been doing it for so long. Come on. I mean, I, I just hope that we as black people do not become deluded because we're so worn out from this BS. But I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think about the statements. Are you shocked? Are you not? Do you think he says it on a regular basis? <laughs> Do you think it was a slip of the tongue and an accident? And tell me, <laughs> tell me how in the world it could be an accident if you're not using the word. Please do if that's how you feel. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.